have to admit I'm getting pretty full from all this great food, but now we're on to, I think it's probably everybody's favorite part of a meal, and that's dessert. Yeah. And, uh, what have you got planned for us now? Um, we're going to make uh, an apple tart, pretty simple. And actually, if you, if you really wanted this for breakfast when you're eating raw, you actually could have it for breakfast. So the Apple neat, tarts for absolutely. breakfast? Absolutely. <laughs> the neat thing right. about eating raw is that you, it's not important to count calories. It's not important to really measure things. You just eat until you're full, and you're tasting all of the wonderful flavors of each and every ingredient. And when you're full, you go about your day. When you're ready for something else, you can have, you know, six apples for a snack if you want to. It's, it's all good for you. And that goes for dessert, it's too. all good just, for you. Just eat until you're full and don't <laughs> count calories. I mean, that sounds too good to be true. Yeah. going to go on to nuts now, okay? We're going to... Um, these have already been measured, but these are the ones that I've dehydrated, and you can actually, they're really crispy, so I was once just ask it, you, you, yeah, give them Are some, these salted? Oh, no, okay. everything, everything is raw when they're purchased, and then I soak them, like I mentioned before, okay. mm. and then I put them back in the dehydrator to crisp them up again. So they get really crisp mm -hmm. again, don't they? Very much so. so we're going to add our about two cups. Mm -hmm. um, and then agave nectar is another sweetener. We used dates before. Mm -hmm. Agave nectar is also raw. It comes from the um, cactus plant, mm. and it has a very low glycemic count, mm -hmm. so um, it's good to use. And this is my, my measuring. It's <laughs> I'm going to say about a third of a cup, so there we go. There we go. That's what my mom used to cook. It's mm -hmm. kind of, so she would never give me a recipe. She goes, oh, well, it's sort of uh, this kind of that. And we're going to put it in a food processor, mm -hmm. so... Started. I'm going to pulse it to mix everything up and then I'll probably find out. And again, you can do this to your liking. I like... I think we just lost our sound, man. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> I'm just joking. Oh, oh! <laughs> I keep I'm going. Making, I know I'm talking loud enough, but not when I'm not. Make, I'm making a joke. Okay. <laughs> so, um, this could be a lot smoother if you wanted it to. It can come to the consistency of flour, but this is going to be our base. And I probably need that spatula that I put away. And I can get that out. Um, drawer right over there, big drawer to your left. Mm -hmm. And then to the right inside. Thank you. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now, do you think buying all these natural ingredients is, is pretty expensive? You know, when you think about what you spend um, if you are, you know, going to go out to eat, um, and because you can buy a lot of ingredients in bulk, you save money that way. Mm -hmm. But, you know, what's, it, I always say what's more important. You can spend money on other things or you can spend money on your health. Sure. And, mm -hmm. you know, hopefully living a lot longer because you're taking such good sure. care of yourself and you're choosing the right foods to put into your body. So. Well, it's one of those things that, again, it probably costs a little bit more to buy the ingredients, but you're also, like you said, the leftovers uh, situations, you might have a leftover one more time, and so you, obviously you're going to have a lot less waste because mm -hmm. I think we waste a lot of food. Absolutely. And the cost savings uh, can be generated in that manner simply by eating what you make and, mm -hmm. and not throwing out as much food. That's true. Because I think if people took a look at how much food they threw out, they'd be quite surprised. So there is our crust. Pie crust. Well, that's good. <laughs> and if you want to just taste it, maybe you can some finger taste. I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to take a think. Get, my, you know. get a little sticky here mm, <laughs> if you want. That's great. <laughs> mm -hmm. So now we're going to um, switch machines and we're going to make our pie filling. That's good enough as is. I know. Isn't that <laughs> delicious? Yes. It it's is. just, it tastes like, is it honey? Is that what this? Is that what this? A little bit on the finger. It tastes like honey though, doesn't it? Okay, you can turn it off. Okay, so we're on to our filling. We're going to have some apples. We're going to use our Vitamix again to kind of puree our, our, our filling. Do you have a certain kind of apple that you're using? Um, you know, we... Uh, no. <laughs> no. Whichever ones you like, mm -hmm. the best. 
because it is going to be raw. This, you know, I know that there are cooking apples out there yeah. and baking and so, and so whatever flavor that you like in an apple because that's the real flavor that you're going to get. Mm -hmm. Well, one of the things I've noticed with this type of preparation is that the, the, the foods, uh, ingredients in their natural state, the flavors just really come out. Mm -hmm. And everything just tastes uh, so much better, very fresh, uh, really vibrant uh, uh, taste to everything. You know, it, seemed to, it seems that when we, we uh, mash things together and, and cook them, it seems to make everything uh, more bland. Mm. So. Yes. We're going to add some raisins to this. Golden raisins. Golden right? raisins. Or you can use... Uh -huh. um, Thompson raisins that were there, regular dark brown uh, raisins. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> uh, a little lemon juice mm -hmm. and um, ground flaxseed. So oh, okay. a little bit of that in there. Some more agave nectar. Um, probably about a couple tablespoons in there. And then as much cinnamon mm. as you like. <laughs> so. My children do like a lot of cinnamon. And we'll start with that and get our filling all pureed. Again, you can, if you want it to be a crunchy, then or um, you wouldn't blend it as much. If you want a very smooth filling, like a like a jam or a jelly, you could. Also I could, <laughs> couldn't I? I could. And so just give it a good, good shake. I'll come out. Yes, we're going to the surgical glove. <laughs> paging Dr. Barba. <laughs> Dr. Barba, paging Dr. Barba. So here is our nice um, apple tart. Let me cut you up a piece. So, didn't have to go out of the oven. You don't have to wait for it. It's ready to try. That's a pretty fast dessert. <laughs> <laughs> the faster the better when it comes to desserts. Wow, look at it. It's perfect. Thanks. Good, thank you. Here you are. Come on, Ernest. Excellent. Very apple -y. Very apple-y. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, it's, it is the season. Mm -hmm. It is apple season, so they'll be really, really fresh. This tastes fantastic. I'm glad you like it. Well, we used to eat a lot of apple crisp with it, mm -hmm. with all the sugar. and. You'd never know that it was nuts you know, on the this is, mm -hmm. um, Really? Mm -hmm. Every bit as good or better than the best ap apple crisp I've ever had, which will be loaded with you know, uh, processed sugar. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah. This is just great. Oh, glad you like it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> now, 